All right, ladies and gentlemen, the next series that I will be doing is Bibian versus Plumum, a TVZ on match point. Uh, Bibian, one of the few Terrans remaining in the tournament. Uh, of course, as usual for foreign tournaments, uh, the ISL2 is dominated by Zergs. But we're going to have a TVZ here. So uh, without further ado, let us go into the series. Bibian versus Plumum of the ISL2 round of 16. All right, here we go. Set number one on match point in the bottom left as the blue Terran. We do have Bibian. And in the top right as the brown Zerg, we do have Plumum. And let me first give a shout out to our sponsors KLVton, TwitchTV.com, KOS Templar, Elegant AOV, Ruskig, Trap, Megashira AOV, A1K1, A4K1. Noise AOV and Miso Chobo. Huge thanks to them for sponsoring the ISL2. Of course, we do have a whopping $1,500 prize pool. Very, very cool. So, um, back to the game. Plumum. Uh, looks like he's not five pooling, guys. He's not five pooling. Of course, Plumum uh, is famous for five pool sunken rushing NB Terror out of the group stages. Uh, of the ISL, and uh, and in the last round he played a very impressive series against um, Desakwe, the Protoss player. Uh, you know, not just cheesing, but playing a straight up macro game and actually just dominating uh, Desakwe. So very, very, imp I was very impressed with him last series. So I'm actually very excited to see what he can pull out uh, against Bibian. I thought he was just a you know a cheesy lower level Zerg, but you know, the last series against the Sockway proved me completely wrong. Looks like he is going for an overpool. Uh, and Bibian is going to make a barracks. Good. So uh, Bibian last round uh, beat a Terran. He beat a uh, Terran boy. Um, just barely 3-2. to two. And actually there was a little bit of controversy over that match. Uh, originally he actually got disqualified for using the wrong map, but was allowed to uh, to ask his opponent or to replay that game um, and he won it so now here he is anyway SCP scout going out uh, let us see what these players decide to do and it looks like it's gonna be an overpool expand for Plumum meanwhile we have nothing out of the ordinary for Bibian it looks like it's gonna be a one racks expand uh, the most standard of standards. And there goes the SCV. Going to be about 400 minerals and being able to build a command center. Excellent. Uh, oh, looks like the SCV is going to go down. But uh, it does get in and see the links coming out. So I think he will have to build a bunker. Uh, yes. Oh, look at this. Very interesting. Uh, Bibian actually stops building a command center and uses that SCV to build a bunker and then brings out the second SCV just to make sure the bunker finishes in time. That's actually quite cute. Rather than bringing a second SCV all the way from his main, which would make the bunker a lot later. Uh, of course, it's a good thing that he's in fact not Idra, else the command center would be cancelled on accident. Uh, but as it stands... Uh, wow, look at this, even building his second depot here to make a bit of a wall in and... Ooh, sending SCV to be a bit obnoxious on the ramp, but he should be absolutely fine here. Uh, yep, second marine's going in, but it looks like Plum is actually going for a run by here. Of course, he can run around the south side of the minerals. The bunker does not cover that. Uh, one Ling, unfortunately, getting trapped in the minerals. Guys, wait for me. Uh, no, he died. Oh, one SCV going to try and block. Or... I don't know, but now there's five, there's five Lings in his base. Oh, man, this is actually not good for Bibian at all. Let's see Let's see the Ling micro now. Plum Plum. He beat Terra with a 5 full, so he's got to have some decent lings, but oh no, making a mistake right there. 
uh, and he has. Look at this! Double expanding, no lair. He just made a third hatchery. He's he's playing this like a ZVP. Oh wow, he's gonna get. Is he gonna get the last marine? I think he's gonna get the last marine. The second barracks going down. Can he get the last marine? The marines are running. Money in, money, 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 money in, money in. Oh, it will survive. SCV going in. Looks like two more links are rallied to the front there, but uh, the lair has just now started. <laughs> And the SCV will get in. Now he actually, as the SCV won't be able to tell exactly when this lair was made. Obviously, he can't see the progress bar like we can. Uh, he can just see a morphing building. So he might not actually realize that that's a that's a little bit late because see, from his perspective, it looks like a two hatch build. He comes in here, you know, there should be a third hatch somewhere like between the main and the natural, or even in the natural. He didn't see it, so he could be thinking maybe it's you know two hatch muta. Uh, or, or even two hatch lurker, he's getting an academy now. He's actually doing very, very standard stuff. Two racks a cad after the one racks FE. Um, did he actually go overlord hunting? I think he did. Anyway, but the thing is, though, Plumum is actually doing a three hatch build. Well, a quote unquote three hatch build. Uh, but, you know, obviously, normally the Zergs have the third hatchery in their main. Plumum just went straight for the bottom right gas expansion. And there's a Spire, so it is just going to be Mutas. Let's see how good his Muta control is. Uh, anyway, do do do. Oh, it's like another SCV gonna get scouted, or gonna go down without scouting anything. I'm not actually sure how, what I was trying to say there. Uh, gas is now being mined. The academy's almost done. I expect an engineering bay shortly. There it is. Uh, more links coming out though. Does he, he doesn't have speed? Ah, speed is just about to finish. Uh oh, could be going in here for a big attack. We've actually been seeing this a lot recently in ZVTs uh, in the ISL2 where just before the Mutas or just before the Spire pops, the Zerg actually just goes in with a bunch of speedlings and takes out a lot of Marines so that when the Mutas get in, they'll be a lot more effective. Although obviously this does cut into the drone count uh, quite a bit. And this is a nice wall by Bibian, so I don't know if this is actually going to be effective. Uh, the first two medics are out as well. And no, maybe. Oh, never mind. He's actually not going to go for it. He's actually just going to chill. Uh, he didn't actually make as many links as I expected, so uh, never mind. Ignore that. Just going to make a few extra links and uh, and threaten the Terran a little bit. Comsec goes down. He sees the spire. Oh man, did that actually hit before the spire finished? I don't. I don't know. I mean, what I'm trying to think about is whether Bibian suspects that there might be this base here, or at least that something is wrong. Because you know, with these with these top level players. Obviously, they know uh, they know the standard timings very, very well. So if they see something a little bit out of place, you know, they get they get suspicious. They'll be like, "What's going on?" Anyways, um, obviously, this map uh, has a quite nice position here for you to harass this cliff uh, above the natural, and of course, it does allow you to poke in here to the uh, production facilities, which is why Vivian is building these turrets right around here, uh, building some turrets. These are. Interestingly placed turrets. Uh, I don't know if that's the best positioning. Oh wait, no, never mind. I just didn't scroll down enough. Whoopsie daisies! Did you guys? I. Oh my god, that was so weird. I was like, all right, this is the bottom of the map, and he just put them at the bottom of the map. But no, I actually just didn't scroll down. Whoa! I dropped the ball there, guys. I dropped the ball. Uh, so the mules are coming in now. I don't actually know how many he has. I would assume he has a uh, nine. If he timed his build properly, he should have nine off the three hatches. Uh, got it, uh, or maybe he has nine now. He's collecting them up. Gonna do the stacking. Uh, but you see, he, this third gas is extremely fast, um, so he won't be able to make a lot of mutas and lurkers. And here we go. Along the bottom side, there are two turrets here, but they're a little bit far forward, too far away for the SCVs to come and repair. One turret does go down, the other turret looks like it will go down. I think, did one Muta die there? I think it did, unfortunately. I, oh no, one Muta definitely died there. And that's a decent number of Medic Marine. Um, so, Vipian should be fine here, very smartly, putting everything as far to the left as possible, so the Mutas would have to come in a little bit too far to, uh, to attack those. I like that, and a lot of turrets here at the natural. And looks like the Lings of... Plumum are just going to retreat a little bit. And there we have an evolution chamber and a queen's nest. So Plumum playing quite standardly. There's a compsec going down. He sees what's going on. And it looks like cancels one turret. So he realizes it's uh, it's not any kind of crazy muta all in. 
64 supply, 65 rather for Plum against, wow, 60, oh, 68 now for BBN, so almost dead even on supply. One SCV somehow slipping out here, but it looks like Plum does see it, is going to try and intercept with his speedlings. Uh, the mutas are also coming out, and oh no, that's just an overlord, I thought that was a drone. Uh, some lurkers now making at the natural. So I think Plomo is actually in a very nice position right now. Uh, his hive is probably going to start shortly. I can't imagine he's just going to make queens. Yep, wait, no. Uh, probably just making a few extra units first, since the Terran push is actually coming here. Did he time it with plus one? Looks like he did! Very nice by Bibi Ann, pushing out, plus one should finish en route. And... Well, where's the spotting here? Plumum is actually not uh, exactly aware of where this army is. Now he's going to see it with this overlord. Uh, Vivian stimming a few marines to take that out. And are there lurkers out? Looks like there are lurkers at the top of this ramp. Would be really cool if he actually stopped lurker these. That'd be sick. And then just like let the marines walk up a little bit and then skew with them. But actually, Vivian probably is just going to scan here. Oh no, looks like he didn't do that. That's alright. Yeah, I would, I would imagine Baby M would scan them before running up, so that actually wouldn't do anything. Never mind! But a lot of units coming in from the back. Oh man, that's a lot of Muta, Ling, and Lurker. Oh no, he's actually going to surround this group of Medic Marine. Baby Ant's army is walking into the jaws of death! Oh no! Baby Ant, why is Plum running away? Plum Mom's running away. Plum Mom, you can kill that, man. Plum Mom, you can actually kill that. You can. He had five lurkers and a bunch of mutas and lings. I, I'm pretty sure if he just attacked that, he would have killed it. But it looks like Bibi Ant's just gonna run through lurker fire here. Oh man, what? What are you doing? Oh no, but the lurkers get messed up. Oh no, he's not moving in now altogether. Uh, scan goes down. Two lurkers going down immediately. Three lurkers go down. Four lurkers go down. Bibi Ant with very nice targeting. But he will lose his entire bioforce. However, he has macroed up quite nicely. He has a plenty, of, uh, 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 plenty of marines left. Uh, no medics though, unfortunately. Uh, I saw only one medic there. But look at this—the vessel is already on the way. So while all of this is going on, um, both players actually have macroed and teched up quite nicely. Creep colony going down. Hive is already done. Uh, looks like no crackling, no defilers just yet. And random SCV running around the top. Random SCV is all over the place, actually. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, 86 food for Bibian against 95 for Plumum. Wow, supply lead for Plumum. So Plumum is still in a nice spot after that uh, after that fast third base of his. Definitely paying off here since Bibian wasn't able to punish it. And oh, a couple of lurkers here going on the high ground. Looks like they will burrow in time. And oh, Bibian, nice reaction though, pulling everything back. Does have uh, a few medics, a few more medics now. Um, keeping his money nice and low. Actually, both players macroing very, very well here. Uh, there's the scan. Sees the file amount. Still no crackling upgrade. Perhaps he just doesn't have the money. I think crackling is actually 200, 200, so it's a little bit expensive. Anyway, uh, that is a lot of lurkers, and there's no vessel yet. Oh, never mind. There is the vessel. So he will be able to use these siege tanks and the vessel to push that back. Looks like he actually comps at it up here. And Plumum will just pull back a little bit. But the thing is. I mean, his Defiler Mount is done, Consume is on the way, and Terran is nowhere near even leaving his own base. So, uh, definitely a nice position for Plumum. And it looks like the Siege Tanks will advance a little bit further. Oh, just gonna be a little bit careful here. Very smart, and we do have a random group of Medic Marine coming down the south side. They might actually go for this base, but there are three Lurkers here, so unless Bibian has...